Did you find our scouts? They're dead. I'm sorry. Algonan and Gillanane sacrificed them in some kind of ritual. Creators. What about the rest of the village? The ritual spread blight everywhere. The entire village was overrun. The few who survived are controlled by blood magic. Their minds are gone. Algernon and Gillanane use them like puppets. I dare say it was a show of force. They will not rest until you are on your knees, fearful, cowering, helpless in the face of such power. Lady Morrigan? Tis simply Morrigan to you, Scout Harding. What a pleasure to see you again. Rook, this is Morrigan, an old acquaintance. I thought she could help. Morrigan helped the Inquisition when Varric and I were part of it. She knew more about ancient magic than anyone, except Solus. Twas both pleasure and necessity to help then, as it is now. Stopping Elganon and Gillanane shall require many hands. So who are you exactly? I have borne many appellations. Advisor to Orle, Witch of the Wilds. Friend to the Inquisition. My place here, however, is but a humble advisor on matters arcane. Witch of the Wilds? An honorific, born of rumor and exaggeration. The fearsome reputations of your opponents, however, are duly earned. This dark turn of events shall only become worse. Whatever comes, we're ready for a fight. Words easily said, but rarely proven. Yeah? What do you know about all this that we don't? As dangerous as Solus himself may be, his imprisonment of the gods was just. To leave them unchecked would have been the very end of Thedas. Just to be clear, you know your old friend Solus is actually the Dreadwolf. So I have come to learn. It rather explains how he knew such a great deal of ancient elven history. And why he became so vexed when I attempted to explain it to him. Whilst I cannot claim the same depth of knowledge, the knowledge I do possess is yours for the asking. I hope it helps. For all we know, the entire world will look like Demetis Crossing once the gods are through. All this horror because a bunch of power-hungry gods want even more power. When have the powerful among us ever done otherwise? So how do we stop them? Set aside your notions of godhood and see them for the ancient, powerful mages they are. Standing against them shall require serious magic of your own. When you interrupted the Dreadwolf's ritual, did you happen across any of the tools he used? He had a dagger, but it got lost in the chaos. Then you would do well to find it. It is better in your hands than those of the gods. Is there anything else Solus might have had that could help us? We're in his, uh, well, he calls it the Lighthouse? Ah, yes. The legendary sanctum of the Dreadwolf. Tis said his Illuvian, the Viravas, could travel to any other Illuvian of his choosing. That's not how it works right now. It only goes to Arlithan. I can take a look at it. Maybe fix it, even. I know Illuvians better than most. Any help you can offer, we'd appreciate. If Illuvians even work the same way, all the magic is different now. Our gods are back. Our gods. And they're killing people and blinding the world. How do we stand up against that? We don't have a choice here. We stand against the gods however we can. Because if we don't, nobody else will. You get the Illuvian fixed at the lighthouse, we'll find the dagger. Let's figure out our next moves after that. Let's get to work. There's a lot of fight ahead of us. Indeed. Prepare yourselves well and have a care in your choices. 
These are the times in which legends are born or slain. In this battle, I shall render whatever assistance I am able. Right. Let's move. be done. I should have taken the shot. That would have made things worse. You don't know that. All you have are guesses. We're up against something unfamiliar, working with more rumors than facts. Of course that's all I have. I should have taken the shot. Maybe you should have taken the shot, but we can't change it now. Yeah. I just have to live with it. Right? Tried to stop the world from being swallowed by chaos, and now it might be swallowed by chaos anyway. Elven gods escape from their prison, Solus is in your head, and we're scrambling to figure out what to do. And Varric? Varric knew the risks. He knew what it might cost. We're still standing. The fight's not over. You know, I like that about you, Lace. You don't stop fighting, you push for answers and action, while I can get stuck on questions forever. Well, we need someone who can put the pieces of the puzzle together. We're fighting the unknown. Exactly. Everyone has a part to play. Varric brought us together because of our strengths. He wanted a team he could rely on. We have to be that team. Play to our strengths and rely on each other. I think I can manage that. Then let's find Solus's dagger. It'll be a start. Look. I can feel lingering magic. Powerful magic. The dagger was here. Something took it. Darkspawn. Oh no, what if it took the dagger? Only one way to find out. Look, there it goes. Big dark spawn coming right at us. device. Good work. Let's keep on the trail. Darkspawn don't usually collect things, do they? Solus's dagger is special. They might have been drawn to it. Anyone spot that ghoul? It must have come this way. More Darkspawn ahead. <laughs>
Did you find the dagger? I don't think these darkspawn took it. Let's keep looking. Over there, a dagger thief. Ugh, more blight in the way. Nicely done. I mean, it's gross, but you can't argue with results. Another one of those magical beams. There are two of these devices this time. I bet we'll need to direct beams at both of them. That's one. Now to find the other. Good work. Now let's see what's behind that gate. Got company. Nev, she always gets the job done. They're aiming for us. Tracking. Better hope it still has the dagger.
Harding? I... I... Uh... Harding! This is the eternal hymn, the prayer and the proclamation! I can hear it. The song of the stone. What is happening to me? What the? Look out! <laughs> 
dagger. What did it do to me? Not sure, but we should get back. We'll talk it through there. Your pet has failed, sister. And now the magic of the dreadful stagger is hidden from me. Fen Harel meddles once again. If his dagger is beyond our reach, we must craft another. Made of red lyrium. You said something took you over. Mm, something like that? And it's still with you? Yes, I think so. It can't be possession, can it? I doubt it. Dwarves can't be possessed. They aren't connected to the Fade. Solus's dagger triggered this event. But how or why? I'm sorry, Lace. I wish I had answers. It's all right. Talking has helped. And hey, we got the dagger, right? Mission accomplished. Dwarves have never used magic. We can't. It's not the magic I know. What do you mean? It's clearly stone-focused, which makes sense. Dwarves are children of the stone. Mages connect to the Fade. Dwarves reach out to the stone? Maybe? Maybe. <sighs> I guess we don't have any real answers. We're friends, so I'm going to be honest. It feels wrong. Bad. Really? Two elven gods escaped the Fade and now this? What if it's connected? Okay, I know we need to be wary, but I think this is a good thing. I feel... connected. To... To the... To the stone. Dwarves call ourselves children of the stone. Some of us have what we call stone sense. Those that have it can feel caves, lyrium veins, and faults in the rock. I wasn't one of them. Maybe the dagger unlocks something hidden. But... but this is more than the stone sense I know. You don't like what's happened. But it's not going to be a problem for us working together, is it? Harding, you being here is never a problem. Oh, really? I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here, to be honest. That's so sweet. Thank you. I, um, feel the same. I'll send word to the Grey Wardens about the blight we saw. And then I'm gonna lie down. And we need more answers about what the gods are planning. I'll find some place to relax and try to reach Solus in the Fade. Good luck. Try not to let him get to you. It feels like we're finally making some progress. And I'm not sure what my new magic's about, but I know it feels right. With their eyes on the Dreadwolf and the gods he'd set loose, they couldn't see their own personal demons coming to haunt them. Harding told herself it felt right. She was connected to the stone, to the lost titans, and all of dwarven history with its buried secrets. How could that be anything but good? Guess I should find some place to try to talk to Solus. Wait, that room wasn't there before, I don't think. Therefore, Harding must have put my pack here. It makes sense. Better place to sleep than the infirmary. Guess I can spare a few moments to unpack my things.
The unarmed commander I took this from thought occupying Treviso was the same as owning it. I showed him how wrong he was. Freed a bunch of prisoners that night, including Varric. That's also the night the crows kicked me out of Antiva for carrying out unauthorized operations. I was so proud of myself. But the Aunt Arm cracked down hard on the crows after what I did. I have to get better at seeing the big picture. Varric and his life lessons. I asked him how we were supposed to stop Solus, and he gave me this. Take a long, hard look at it, kid. It'll always show the face of a hero who can get it done. If I'm the one who's got to get it done, I should stop admiring myself and get to work. The peddler gave me this after I saved his caravan from bandits. He was so impressed with the vitar that Canari wear to protect our faces, and the fireworks he saw at the Ravani Festival. Said he had no idea my people were such accomplished alchemists. My people went to war with the whole world and then lost control of their own military. Alchemy is all they've got left. The ever-turning orb. My final training project as an apprentice. I spent months finding the precise balance of energy flows to make the enchantment permanent. Might have gone faster if I hadn't been exhausted from too many late night escapades. Oh well, still got it done. Right, that's better. Now, how do I connect to Solus? Just sleep or relaxing? Maybe if I clear my mind. Back so soon. It must have been worse than I had thought. Hello, Dreadwolf. Ah, but perhaps I am mistaken. You may be here to correct me, to tell me that my concerns were unfounded. Perhaps nothing escaped as you stopped me from... What was it? Covering the world with demons? So, you're gonna be insufferable about it. See, this is the reason nobody likes you. I led a rebellion for centuries that culminated in the creation of the Vale and the destruction of the Elven Empire. Okay, this is among the reasons nobody likes you. My information was accurate. Now you realize that the danger is real. I need to know what the gods are planning. You are asking for knowledge no mortal in this world is privy to. If I am to share it with you, I need to know what makes you the right person to lead the fight against Algonan and Gelanane. I stopped you, didn't I? You disrupted the ritual. Yeah, I did. Even though I'm nowhere near as powerful as you. Your plan is to tell me how powerful you aren't? Back in the Crows, I had to deal with the Antarm invasion. One night, I saw a unit getting ready to transport prisoners to another city. It was way too large for us to hit. But you did so anyway, using unconventional tactics to confuse the Antam and free the prisoners. How'd you know that? You helped Varric pursue me for the better part of a year. It would have been foolish not to learn about who was hunting me. Then you know that powerful opposition doesn't frighten me. I find a way to get the job done whatever it takes. I suppose I was not so different when I started. Started what? My rebellion against the Evanuris. The Elven Gods, as you call them. They wish to reclaim their dominion over this world. To accomplish that, they will need two things. First, the Blight. What exists in this world is a bare fragment of its power. 
the rest is imprisoned until they release it. I don't understand. Elganon and Gilanin were elves like you, right? Why would they want to blight the world? It is my fault. As the Dread Wolf, I was a thorn in their side. When my efforts weakened their grasp on the elven people, they grew frustrated, then desperate, and turned to the Blight. Once the corruption took hold of them, they were blind to its horror. It was just another source of power for them. Now they would blight the world without hesitation, and call us backward and foolish for opposing them. The rest of the Blight is imprisoned? There's more than what's in the world already? Yes. Centuries ago, the Magisters of Devinter opened my prison. A tiny fragment of the Blight escaped. That fragment grew beneath the earth and led to the Blights that have swept across the world. However terrible the Blight is now, it is a mere fraction of what we will see if its full power is unleashed. The Blight didn't escape with the gods? Elganan and Gelanane escaped largely empty-handed, fortunately. Most of the Blight is still trapped in the prison I created ages ago. So what we saw at that village, that's them not at full strength? Correct. Then we shut down whatever they need to do to free the Blight. They will need to pierce the veil to reach the Blight's prison. My Lyrium Dagger is one of the few artifacts capable of doing so. We've already recovered it from the ritual site. Excellent. Then they will have to make their own. That will give you time. You said the gods needed two things, and the Blight is the first. What's the second? Followers. They have called themselves gods. And what is a god without worshippers to sing their praises? You think they want the elves back? I don't think the elven people will bend a knee to blighted murderous monsters. Agreed. Elganan and Gilanane care little for the elves. They will find worshippers among those hungry for power. Tyrants and bullies. The cruel and the corrupt, who fear their own vulnerability and seize any chance to feel strong. If you hunt them, they will lead you to Elganan and Gilanane. I came here for specifics, not fortune-telling. I would tell you more were I not currently in prison thanks to your actions. Fine. I'll go kick the trees and see what falls out. The Veravas, the Lighthouse Saluvian, can take you anywhere, if you master its secrets. Have you done so? Not yet, but we've got one of the Veil Jumpers working on it. She'll get it sorted, and we'll see how it goes. Yes, I suppose we will. And when you speak with Varric, please tell him that I regret what happened. So Solus told the truth about the gods. You heard. It's bad, Varric. If you'd seen Demeter's crossing. The team needs to act fast. And it can't do that with me leading from a bed. You've got to take point on this. I'll get it done. I never doubted it. Harding might. Rook, when I put this team together, what did I look for? A detective to find the Dreadwolf, and a scout to get us the lay of the land. Exactly the people he'd expect me to recruit. Disciplined. Predictable. And then there's you. Remember when we first met, kid? I watched you pick apart an entire Antom patrol in Treviso. They outnumbered you twenty to one. They were overconfident I took advantage. Which no one else did. Crows didn't appreciate the heat it brought down, but you've got a knack, kid. For what? Finding a way through the wildest shit I've ever seen. With a plan that no one expects. On the best day of his life, Solus wouldn't see you coming, Rook. And don't worry. I'll still be here to talk if you need me. There is something. Demeter's crossing was awful. While we were there, we found one survivor, the mayor.
You left him to fend for himself. Not everyone was happy about my decision. We're just starting out and I'm already losing their trust. The key to earning the team's trust isn't to only make decisions everyone agrees with. It's showing the team that they can tell you whatever's on their mind, even if they think you're full of crap. And know you'll listen. Did Nev tell you about me talking to Solus in the Fade? I had some good arguments with Chuckles back in the day. I can't imagine being stuck with him in my head. But how are you feeling about it? He's the god of lies and he's inside my head, Varric. How do you think I feel about that? Fair enough. But Nev's a great mage. If you need her to whip up a war to keep him out of your mind, she can. But you haven't asked her to. Why not? Solus is our best source of information about these elven gods. We can't stop them without what he knows. So you're making the decision to keep talking with him? I... Yeah. You're making a choice. Stay careful. Stay worried. But don't beat yourself up about doing what you have to do. He also asked me to tell you that he regrets what happened. Hurting you, I mean. Chuckles is sentimental. He could burn the world down, and the thing that would make him cry is a single flower with blackened petals. When I took over at the ritual site, I had to make a call on who came with me to knock over that statue. It was the first decision I made leading this team, and Harding got hurt because of it. You made a decision with the best information you had. Sometimes you do that, and people end up hurt. Or worse. What would you have done? What would I have done? Probably gotten myself killed and failed to stop the ritual if you hadn't stepped in. A good leader isn't someone who never makes mistakes. It's someone who admits when they make one. That's how you earn their trust. I'll let you get some rest. You're gonna be fine, Rook. Uh, hey, one last thing before you go. I've been racking my brain thinking of contacts who might help us with these gods. You got any ideas? Nothing. But being a leader isn't about having all the answers yourself. It's about knowing who does. Nev has connections to a whole world that Harding and I barely know. Might be worth talking to her. Will do. Thanks, Varric. Anytime. <laughs> you can stop fussing over me. Go see what the others are up to. Hey, Nev. Hi, Wisps. Yeah, they're still here, but you're here for leads. You want allies to go after the gods? I've got places to look, if we can get anywhere but Arlathan. Galara's working on it. What have you got? Let's start with the angles we know. The gods are corrupt magic personified. Who do we hire to fight that? First, the Antivan Crows. We've got you. But if one assassin's good... Why not two? You have someone in mind? Your most feared mage killer, the Demon of Virantium. The Demon's a legend. I've always wanted to meet him. Happy to help. The Demon got his nickname taking out blood mages and Venatori. There's been fewer stories in recent years, but your bosses would know. The Talons? They're gonna give me an earful. If you want to look elsewhere. I'll set up a meeting. What else? A trip home. Back to Minrathus. Capital city and heart of Tevintir. An empire of mages that knows a thing or two about corrupt magic. To Vinter authority... Won't help and can't be trusted, which is why we talk to the Shadow Dragons. They're a resistance group that fights slavers, blood magic, and imperial corruption. They've got eyes and ears everywhere, including mine. If the gods enter the empire, we might get something. Besides, I owe them an update. Are they all mages? Tevinter might prize its mages, but the Shadows accept anyone. We've all got a stake in the cause. Sure we can trust these Shadow Dragons? You've got a better shot with them than most in the city. 
So we talked to the crows in Antiva and the shadow dragons in Manrathus. I wouldn't mind checking in on my neighborhood either. If Balar is ready for us. Yeah. Should check how things are going. Mm -hmm. Almost there. I just have to. Shit. Sorry. Can I help? No, no. I got it. Mostly. Mirrors are funny things, aren't they? Reflections. They distort reality, no matter what you try. And there's the trick. Control that distortion. There you have it. What is that place? If I had to guess, it's the Fade. Another part of it, I mean. Didn't Morrigan say this Alluvian could go anywhere? Didn't think that meant elsewhere in the Fade. She called it the Veer of Us. Freedom of ways. I wonder... If you have an idea what that place is, Balara, share it. We don't have time to waste. Some of the older texts talk about a place in the Fade where all the Alluvians meet. A crossroads where you could travel across all of Thetis in just minutes. Right. We saw something similar when we were chasing Solus. I wonder if it's the same. It is alike, and it is not. I've had enough surprises today, Spirit. Tread carefully. The wolf's fang. You carry it now. Old paths. A new journey through there. I will wait. Well, can't tell if that's a trap or not, but we're short on options. One way to find out. And it didn't feel dangerous, you know? Almost more... sad. Just because something's sad doesn't mean it isn't dangerous. I can think of an example or two that proves that. And we still don't know what this Alluvian's gonna do. One of us should probably stay behind in case it closes. Good point. Just tell us when you're ready to go, Rook, and then we can figure out what's going on. Hello again. Who are you? A caretaker. I go where I am needed, Dweller. Now. I am here. And where is here? The crossroads. safe here, or are we gonna get swarmed by more demons? The Evanurus hunger for the crossroads. Their influence is spreading. Blight. Death. Madness. They send their minions to claim this place. The crossroads is in a time of need, Dweller. I cannot protect you. You don't have to. If you're standing against the gods, then consider us reinforcements. Can't travel this way. The gods are trying to slow us down, which means we can do some real good here. Yeah, this dog seems sturdy. So, you can ferry us to the other islands. Winds await, Dweller. I'll take that as a yes. Places between. The 
the spirits here were driven out. Refugees now from the gods' minions. I have summoned the guardians of the crossroads to protect them. Beware. The guardians repel all interlopers. Which means us, too. The Fater. That's where they're breaking through. The gods are breaching the Fater's self. Just for us. this? It looks like an entryway. What's going on here? Is that spirit a prisoner? Yeah. You're awake. How's your head? The guards really knocked you about. Well, it's... Do you remember our mission? Gillanane's lab. The wolf sent us to infiltrate her testing grounds. Things didn't go perfectly to plan, but the wolf smuggled in help. A key. If you can fight, grab the key and we'll run for it. Just be ready for whatever the witch has in store. It's like all she sees is another ancient elf. One of Solus's agents? This is a memory. We're seeing Solus's past. Ah, uh, freedom. We'll move faster if we split up. See you ahead. Blight, be careful. Ugh. These are more than just memories. Fight!
So Gillinane was experimenting with Blight and Darkspawn. The Blight infested her lab. If it's a memory, let's go with it. We need to find our way out before Gillinane finds us. Wolf, you came for us. Your key was enough. This unnatural corruption demanded my personal attention. It is strong. It has already blocked the escape route I had planned. We will need another way to the surface. Let's all split up and find it. I will destroy what corruption I can. You must cut through these monstrosities before Gillinane unleashes something worse. Solo sounded rattled. The blight really had him scared. You see boundless creation and choose to destroy it? Learn respect for the life that will succeed. She's using the testing grounds against us. Time to go. Free and faster than anticipated. Perhaps you and your allies warrant more study. We've got company. Specimens. If this is what Darkspawn looked like when Gillinane was experimenting, then... Here, the blessing you deny. Oh, help me! Ah! Gillinane got her. Burning up. Look out! You would unleash a blight on this world and call it a masterwork. You, who are the most sensitive of us. All that I am. 
Freedom belongs to the pursuit of creation. You chose to constrain yourself. I must climb to the heights only understood by gods. I go now to join them. Wolf, you are greater than any of them. Please, help me. He's too afraid of the Blight to do anything but end her pain. I am so sorry I failed you. There is only one way I can help you now. Wolf. This place and the corruption within it must be eradicated. No trace can be allowed to spread. Go. Your work here is done. There is no need for you to witness what I must do. It's over. Solus destroyed the lab, the blight that was here, and his agent. He was so ready to burn it all. Friends included. Not much has changed. This fragment might tell us more. Champion. It dwells on this island. Challenge the champion and claim its essence. This path will open to you. Oh, is there something inside? It? That's the champion we're looking for. Watch yourself.
Whatever that creature left might be handy for us. That's the essence we need. It's cold. Oh, hope I don't have to carry it for too long. As the gods champion passed freely, so will you. I didn't know this many Alluvians still existed. Where do they go? Time to find out. <laughs>